You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, extreme smile makeovers, uh, full mouth reconstruction. According to my first guest, he says that, that your teeth are never too bad and your gums are never too bad to have the smile you've always wanted. We've had him on the program before. I jokingly told him before we went on that I begged him back, but we kind of did, uh, to come back on the program. With us, we have Dr. Roberto Macedo. Dr. Macedo, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you. Good to see you again, Randy. I'm glad to be back. Okay, good. And I told you when I first saw you, you, you look younger every time I see you. So you're <laughs> staying healthy and playing tennis. So you brought a stack of photos. So we're going to try to get to as many of those as possible. Now, for people that don't know your practice, I mean, you do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, but who's the typical, like, full mouth, as you call it, full mouth reconstruction pa patient? All right. If I can call the typical patient of the office, I was thinking about it. I was like, people who has teeth, right? Most of the patients that we treat, they do have teeth. So that's okay. the typical patient. Okay. Beyond that, I would call, you know, the typical full mouth rehab. It's in general, people that are already been dealing with uh, gum disease, ble uh, bleeding gums, bacteria, cavities, etc. So they've been through for a while until they finally you know, decided to, you know, enough is enough and get the, their mouth done. Uh, but bottom line, after we clean them up, the gums are healthy, the foundation, the bone is all good to go. We can, we can do a, a big transformation in most of the times, a couple of visits. So it's amazing. So no how matter, much it, you know, at the top of the show, I said, no matter how far gone they are. So you can have really bad teeth and bad yeah. gums and yeah. still have, end up with like beautiful teeth. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You I do mean, that all the time? You see it all the time? Every, every day. Every okay. day is... Uh, okay, good. That's what now, we do. Th these patients, you brought a stack of photos. So what are we looking at here? So I'm going to start with the sweetest patient we have. So okay. she's the, the, the love of the office. So if you call the office today and you ask for it, what is the first patient that comes to mind, this will be gay. Okay. She's uh, in her 80s been married for over 45 years okay um high school sweetheart and um she came recommended by a general dentist in the area uh the general dentist wasn't sure what to do uh of course the patient was very depressed she didn't want to go with dentures she already had few teeth missing so she came to the office very um disappointed in a way okay hopeless she mentioned i'm just here because because I, my teeth, my mouth are hopeless. So you, you can see in her smile, there's a few missing teeth. When she smiles, you barely see any black uh, spaces on the side. So on you the don't see the top the teeth at all, you, almost. You, you don't, yeah, okay. and even though she's smiling, as you can see. So, and even in this picture, she has an awkward smile because she's not comfortable smiling. Okay. So they told me, and then I say, okay, so I was like, we can do it. We did her mouth in two visits. So Gay agreed with the treatment. We put her on, a, it was a two and a half hour process. We gave her the prototype, which is normally called the temporaries, but we call prototypes because they are the foundation, the design that will be duplicated if she liked the result okay. on the final teeth, which are the final teeth are the porcelain teeth, the ones that you can really chew that will be uh, permanently cemented. They will feel like your own teeth. Okay. Uh, so a couple of weeks later, she came back to have that uh, portion teeth delivered, all handcrafted, customized to her. Um, and she came back on a follow up. Her husband pulled me aside and told me, you, I got to thank you because you changed her life. You changed my marriage. You brought my wow. marriage back together. It's unbelievable. I mean, that's why she on top of her being a, the sweetest lady, this, her story is so, you know, so touching for me and for the office that it's unbelievable. That's why I wanted to present her first. So her husband pulled me aside to just Very mention nice. she didn't want to go to church anymore. Uh, she didn't. She just go in and out the house, depressed. Uh, that All was because of her teeth. Yeah. Uh, Randy, let me tell you this. If you don't like something about yourself, and normally the smile tells a lot about yourself, okay? Uh, it will hold you back. Okay, and a that's little fair. bit, you know, day after day after day, you don't realize it. That little something that takes away from you, your daily routine, after years of suffering, it gets you. 
So, as I mentioned, she didn't want to go to church anymore. And when she did, she stayed in the back. Okay. You know, duh, does her prayers and go home. Now, and it's been two weeks after we finished, she's in the first row. She's talking about it. She That's backs nice. to community service. Uh, she's doing dancing classes, gym. I mean, her life changed so, so much. So like her confidence is back. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's, a, it's a liberation for her. And that's like 80 plus year old. So Randy, pay attention to the details on how I design her smile. Okay. Okay, so not bragging, but look at how the, the lip line follows the edges of the teeth. Look how bright but not fake smile she has because it matches her skin tone. So the tone. teeth do follow perfectly along that lower lip. It, it should, yes. I mean, is that what you're trying to do? Exactly, yeah. It's because it's important. Otherwise, we'll look either uh, toothy or missing teeth. So you gotta have a balance and that the lower curvature of your lip helps uh, match the, the, the teeth. And just to put the icing on the cake, they told me that the you know, marriage are back, if you know what I mean. You know, even with 80 plus years old, their romance is back. That's, well, that's I'm good. quoting. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. All right, let me show you this other case. It's, okay. it's a kid, 20 plus years old, and he, he basically thought his teeth were gone. I mean, he's young, he still have his entire life to go, and his mouth is like that. A lot of stain, a lot of cavities. I mean, not in a good situation. When I saw this kid, I couldn't believe how much I could help him out. And he didn't like know. Like you saw it, like you knew it? Yeah, every single time I see a patient in the interview process, I'm already processing that information. Okay. So I already know before I start where I can go. So we done the, the, the protocol, the design, and in one afternoon, we're able to do a, a gum recontouring. So we use laser to recontour his gum, because it, as you see on the, on the before, he has a little of a gummy smile. Okay. So he basically trust us to do what we could do. And we were not the first dentist. He'd been around trying to figure out what to do. And again, if you don't go to people that really uh, understand. A prosthodontist. A prosthodontist. Do you have a bit of a bias that they I, should go to a prosthodontist? I, or I, like I do because. For complex stuff. Agreed. Okay. I think so. Okay. Uh, and some of the dentists over-treated him, like they were doing crowns in every single tooth. And this is a 20 plus year old kid with full mouth crowns. Uh, when he came to the office, we basically did veneers on him and one single crown. So we saved a lot of tooth structure that you cannot believe with the gum recontouring. Well, look at that after. So the after, believe it or not, is the same kid. It's, it's not the different person, but the gummy smile is gone. That uh, uh, the lip line, the lower lip contour, it follows the incisal edges. The teeth fit perfectly to the lower lip. It fits perfectly to the lower lip. The, the coloring of the teeth matches his face. Uh, this what, ha what happens when this guy sees his new look for the first time, like in the mirror? Do you remember? I mean, <laughs> it's shocking. He. He calls me every day. He calls the office every day thanking us. It's like, man, we, we, well, you're welcome. And his mom calls the office. I mean, it's just an unbelievable, for us, it's so rewarding that it, it's hard to describe in words. So lots of, lots of people like this in Florida? Oh, that, yeah. That, I, I mean, think, as a dentist, you see them, you go, boy, they have no idea how we can, yeah. this could be changed. Yeah, I think, I think most of the cases, the patients, the patients, Lay people don't understand what is possible in dentistry, right? Technology is available. I mean, digital, uh, 3D printing. I mean, you name it, we have it. You do it all right there. We do it all okay. right there. We print a, a model, a three-dimensional model in the office. It's, uh, we can mill a crown. So there's so much that technology can do. And I tell my, my peers, say, hey, you got to go into this. You cannot just do what you've been doing for 30 years, 20 years, that it works, but there's better things nowadays. Why not utilize technology to your favor? I mean, it's an investment, yes, but it's worthwhile. Kevin. All right. Amazing guy, farmer boy, okay? He's been with this teeth, no teeth actually in the front. He had a little flipper that he just uses to smile. Uh, and believe it or not, he was fine. I was like, man, I'm on the farm. I don't 
you know. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I'm married. It's, I'm fine. I'm settled. Then what did he go to you for? So he comes to do hygiene. Oh, just to, for a clean. <laughs> just to keep the gums healthy. I was like, okay. And believe it or not, his wife made him do it. Okay. And he's coming to the office for years. It's like, hey. And it, finally, uh, his wife said, hey, you got to do it. You got to do it. No, I want to buy a car. And that's a funny story. It's a true story. He's like, I'd rather have a car because he's into, you know, classic uh, vintage cars. Yeah, yeah. And I say, hey, let's do it. So his wife made him do it. We did it. Uh, he had a mix of crowns and implants and other stuff. But, and now. Look at the after. Nice. I mean, the after is unbelievable. He cannot believe it. He was like, I cannot <laughs> believe I was going so many years without teeth. And thank God, my wife and you, because you're the one who made it happen, uh, that I was like, okay, let's do it. So there's different options that we can go about this guy, right? Anywhere from having a full denture, which I would never do in his case, a bridge, yeah. which was not, I guess, the best option for him. So we decided to do implants. So okay. we placed three implants there. Uh, so you filled in the gap with just implants? We filled the okay. gap with implants. We save all the other teeth. And now he can chew. He can bite into a sandwich. He can bite into a pizza. So little things that we do it on a daily basis. He could not do it. He was chewing on the side. He was not, uh, he didn't understand how much he was missing because it's been so long. Again, after we put his teeth, I mean, he, in his case, he gained weight because he's eating more. He's eating so what do they like more, the way it looks or the stuff that they could eat? It's a combination. It's a combination. I mean, so you, all you can do is eat but doesn't look good, then you still have that problem holding you back. Okay. If you have a beautiful smile but you can't eat right, then that's another problem because you're going to have muscle issues, joint issues, and you're going to eventually break. Okay. So you have to have a combination of that biting, uh, a that balanced bite with the musculature and the joint and got to look good. In Florida, they say the Macedo experience. What is no. that? Is that everything we're talking about right here? The Macedo experience, uh, actually my team came up with this name. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if it's a good name or a bad name, but that's the, the experience we can provide to the patients. It's not just you go to the dental office. So we try to make the experience of a dental office being as pleasant as possible. And nobody likes going to a dental office. No, right? nobody likes it. Actually, most of the people hate it because they have that some sort of trauma. Uh, you have that uh, elevator music, you have, you know, p uh, you have pain associated with it, whatever discomfort you had in the past. We acknowledge that, we understand, we try to put the patient's interest first. So even the time you walk into the office, you're going to have a smell, a, a super good smell. You're going to be greeted by your name with a beautiful smile. You know, you have gourmet coffee, whatever, but we make your experience as pleasant as possible. And again, there's no need to be worried. And we do everything we can to keep them out of pain. Okay. So sedation, we numb you super well. I even call my uh, uh, anesthesia process is virtually painless because we have the technique to numb you without even you feeling it, which doesn't sound right. But if you let me try on you. So you're good at it. Yeah. Do you want me to try no. on you? I brought my needle away. <laughs> and I won't feel it. Okay. You will Maybe not. We'll I it. guarantee. Off camera, I we'll do bet it. you. Okay. Okay. Um, so, and, and the, the other thing is this. We, as we put our patient's interest first, I'm not going to let you have your teeth for a month or two sometimes or months. So when we start the process, most of the times we can finish it within a week to two. And you're done. So somebody with horrible teeth watching this right now. Next week, they could have a brand new set of teeth if everything works yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the first couple of hours in, three hours, depending on the case, you're going to leave the office with a beautiful smile already. So it's not that you're going to have to wait until the end to see what the potential and the looks. You have it right there. This okay. is something that over the years, we developed the process and we mastered the skill to be able to deliver day in and day out that dream smile that you always wondered. All right, this is another amazing story. Okay. Okay. This guy, uh, Sykes, wonderful gentleman. Um, he had a major issue in his mouth. He cannot open it at all. And you can see by the length of his beard that uh, he was embarrassed 
with his smile. Okay. He has a massive uh, jaw injury, um, and uh, he was just hiding behind his beard. And the first picture, the second picture is the day that we delivered the smile. And the next follow-up, so that's been like a week after, you can see he took his beard out. And that's been, he's been grooming that beard so for years. So the first photo, then the second photo after he gets his new teeth, and then he shaves his beard. Yeah. I mean, what does that tell you? I mean, for me, this is everything. Well, it changes his look, that's for sure. It changes his life. It changes his life. His, he can show himself now. He doesn't have to have a mask behind his beard to cover him up. So imagine a guy that has a massive problem with his jaw that was hiding uh, up behind his beard. And now, a week later, he just have the courage and the confidence to shave it off and be himself. Another patient here, right. John. Super guy. We became friends, basically. We talk about other things other than dentistry. But this is a guy that's been struggling with... His teeth look pretty good on the before. Uh, Randy, I don't want to be rude, but who cares what you think? <laughs> okay. He... He didn't like it. He didn't like it. Okay. He was having trouble with his smile over the years. So we're doing... What do you mean trouble? Uh, he was doing patchwork, like a tooth breaks, and he fixed that tooth. Uh, has a little cavity, he fixed the cavity. He broke a tooth, he pulled that tooth out. He has a little infection. He does, he treats that infection. He never really treated his mouth like a whole, okay. comprehensively. So that's another patient that was recommended by a general dentist because he didn't know what else to do. So when we treat those cases, we have to look in a macro lens. We cannot just look at what's going on there, but what caused all those issues. We need to understand the whole picture, musculature, joints, Bite, basically, his bite doesn't come to, didn't come together right. His he, teeth didn't come together. Right, okay. his teeth was just, you know, touching in every single different position, every single time he closes down, breaking down infection, etc. So, basically, there was a combination of crowns, implants, we had to pull some teeth and do some surgery on him, but this is a guy that since we finished, he didn't spend a single dime extra on fixing little issues over time. So he made a comprehensive uh, approach and he's done. Now the he's only- He's looking good. He's looking good. He's <laughs> looking really good. I mean- You're proud of this work, aren't you? I, I always, yeah, I'm super proud. <laughs> so now he can eat whatever he wants. Whatever no he problems. wants. No problems. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's fixed, nothing removable. It's fixed, porcelain, customized to your face, to your lips, to your head size. Uh, to, your, to the white of your eyes, everything is thought out before we design a smile. And we have, um, we have a lot of the input from the patients. So I, as a joke, I tell the patients if they don't, as a joke, I tell the patients if they don't like their smile, it's their fault. <laughs> and the reason is because I request the input. So yes, they rely on my expertise, but you're the one wearing the, the, the smile every day. So I need your input to make sure you have what you expected. All right, that's another woman that didn't know where to go. Came recommended by a, uh, a general dentist. Too much going on in her mouth. Um, and she got in trouble with her family because she knew she had major problems with her mouth. So what's going on in her before photo? Oh my gosh. It she, looks d decent. She has some infections, gums disease, uh, cavities, broken tooth, bite not coming together right. I mean, you name it. She had it all. Okay. okay? Uh, again, we did a, a, a evaluation, a full evaluation. We fixed her up in few visits. She's done. And you can see on the lowers, wow. on, the, on the other picture, how different she looks. I mean, she looks, don't you think she looks more attractive? True. Yeah. Yeah. More educated. Yes, yes. Younger. Yeah. So that's what a smile can do to you. I mean, it's not just a smile, but the smile helps you change your, the, the way you look at yourself. And then one thing helps the other to, you know. That's like a perfect smile. I, I'm not trying to side with I you like here, it. but that looks no, really like good. It. Yeah. And she wanted a more natural looking smile. So it's not super bright. 
but that's what she wanted and it fits her, her face perfectly in my mind. All right, so Ron drives hours to come to the office. He thought he was going to end up with dentures, okay? And uh, he came to us, we placed implants, we had to take some teeth out, clear out the infection, and he has fixed teeth, fixed porcelain, customized teeth, and he never looked back. This is a guy, even after Looking treatment. Looking good. Oh, he looks good. He's, I mean, he's, uh, he, he changed his life in such a way that he cannot believe. He retired and he was so busy with the work, he couldn't take really care of his teeth much. Uh, and after he retired, that was the first thing he did, his smile. So, and he still drives just for cleanings. So it's unbelievable how much, uh, you know, dentistry can really change someone's life. So Lisa, this is a, a good story. And I wanna, with this picture, I wanna show you how um, how she she looks maybe a little tired. Okay. Uh, on the first on the before, and she's just like her daily thing. She was like that. So we agree with the treatment. We in two visits, we finish her up. Two short visits of about three hours each. She was done. Okay. Like veneers? What did you do? That was veneers, basically. Okay. And you can see on the next picture, that's the temporary. That's the prototype. That's the test drive. You want to make sure they like what they have. They can chew with it. They can smile with it. They can socialize with it. And then the final porcelain uh, veneers will just match what Wow. What she looks good. Liked. Yeah, thank you. She looks, yeah, she looks amazing. She's another big fan of ours. You know, and, and, and we, we talked in the green room. I feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. Right. I feel like I could spot yeah. fake teeth. These look very natural. Yeah. And I think anybody looking at this will see yeah. they're very yeah. natural. Yeah. For so me, when I yeah. see the big veneer look, mm -hmm. who's, did the, pa I always think, did the patient want that? Or do you think, in your opinion, the dentist, the artistic eye of the dentist, yeah. they didn't uh, do a, a good job? That's, I, a, I'm just that's a great question because, in my mind, if you can tell, it's not a good dentistry. That's my mind. Okay, uh, some people ask for it, but they don't. I don't believe they understand what they're asking for. They people don't say, "I want white teeth," but what does that really mean? I mean, for a dentist, a white teeth means something. For a patient, it means something else. Okay. So just by picking up a shade, how do you do it conventionally? You you give a shade tap to the patient, and they're gonna put there uh, like this shade. Okay, that's we don't do that in the office. That's why we spend time understanding what you want. That's okay, why we okay. do how we do it. And you trust us and now have that skill that I developed over the years to deliver what you want. So I understand what kind of uh, color you want, the whiteness you want, but you don't necessarily need to pick that particular color because whenever we receive the tooth, it will not really match that tab because that tab is basically one shade. Okay. When I build a smile, it's a combination of dozens of different so each tooth is like has different colors in it absolutely has a multitude of colors of pacifiers you know you see a little more translucency on one area where the other area is a little more opaque that's what brings the the, the smile natural even though it's nice and bright but doesn't look fake so this is a uh, this I call he calls himself a he has a CEO smile that's what he calls. So that's what his girlfriend calls his smile. Because we did uh, upper and lower veneers. He didn't like his smile. You can see he, he, he barely can see his teeth. A little um, shy in a way. And on, a, uh, on the after picture, you can see how fuller he's smiling, how brighter his teeth With his looks. new CEO smile. With his, that's what, now, what now he did calls. did he take these? These are kind of fun shots. Did yeah. he send oh, yeah. those too or you guys took these? No, this is, this is in the office that, that and you can see how much confident they are with their smile now. If you compare the before, they're kind of fake. Okay, that's smile. a good point. When and I look at the before photo and then look at the after, you can see there's personality. I mean, yeah. And it's, okay. And it's not that they were not personable. They've always been personable, but the smile kind of hold them back. And when I say, hey, well, let's take a picture. Let's have fun. And they go, they go <laughs> for it. So that's, that tells me okay. how much confident or loose they are now. We have so many stories with patients. I mean, I treat a lot of real estate. I treat a lot of real estate people. So they sell more 
um, homes that they ever been because just because their confidence level their confidence they're their smiling enthusiasm. all the time they're, they're excited okay. about it they don't they're Makes not sense. they have no fear of showing their sentiments so uh, so realtors we see them a lot salespeople no matter what kind of field you're in whenever you're given a bid and you're like hey that's that's the cost and you smile the likelihood for you to have that uh, project sold it's a lot higher than yeah makes sense here's a bit um, I mean lawyers they're winning more cases it's it's unbelievable how this is what they tell you yes okay that's what they tell me all the time we have one more minute left all right can I can yes. I show you one more case okay, okay. all right all right promise all right so this is Tom engineer guy he his teeth is yellowed or, or discolored broken down short and a lot of little issues that you know were in down teeth that he was handling over the years and in one afternoon he had his smile done looks good it looks really big good. difference a big difference yes we really are out of time so final message somebody watching this they don't like their smile maybe they have the bleeding gums bad breath really bad teeth mm -hmm. but and they've heard what you had to say but they're still afraid or skeptical what do you say to them i would say know your options start with that because dentistry evolved and changed so again if you don't know the possibilities you don't know what you're missing out okay uh, if you're afraid you can be sedated and you don't even remember what's going on uh, so teeth is something that can be changed and improved uh, like other things you can't so know your options it's possible it's uh, I call virtually painless uh, do they get to see you? Like if somebody oh yeah, sees absolutely, this, absolutely. I will be doing the work. I'll be doing the, the, the temporaries. I'll be designing the smile. I'm 100% involved in the cases. I'm not, when you're with me, I'm with you. I'm not seeing two, three, four patients at a time. That's not how we're okay. set up for. So when you come to see me, I'm 100% yours for how long it needs. So yeah, you, 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 you getting me, I don't, that's, it's a good thing, trust me. It's a personal touch. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good stuff, great photos today, and you have more on your website, is that right? I, oh, absolutely. Now, they can go to your website, make an appointment, or they could just call your office, make an appointment. They can do whatever you want. The website, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, call in. If you want a quicker response, call in is the easiest way. Okay, good. Well, thanks. thanks again for coming. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.